Okay, everybody, so it's Monday. Val is um, doing well. She's up and catching up on her uh, vlogs and comments. And I have one more day left in Glendale. Hopefully, it'll be a short one. And um, th that'll be it for this project. And uh, hopefully, I won't be too long. At least four hours, because that's how long it takes to get there and back. Okay, so my task for today is to replace some of these missing blades and the vertical blind. I have four of them missing here, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five, there's five. And they're actually here and just broken off. Now, what they usually end up doing when I see them break off like this is they turn them upside down, which is what the previous tenants did to make it look like they were fine and they were just barely hanging on. So, and I have a bunch of this stuff from before. It's gonna be a little brighter just because it's newer, but uh, it's better than what they have. And I just need to cut it to length and create the hole in the top. So, all I did was cut it to length using the straight edge of the old blade, but I'm gonna turn it around because my cut isn't exactly the most perfect. It's, it's fine, but I would like that on the top where you can't see it instead of the bottom. The bottom has a nice square edge. And uh, now I need to create this uh, elliptical hole. And I'm gonna do that with a simple punch. And I'm just gonna punch each corner so that's the right length and then just cut across it. All right, so I've got two holes punched in it, and now I'll just cut across that. Now, I'm told that you can actually find a hole punch that'll do this, but that's pretty specific and hardly worth the, the cost of a tool. Because there, now I got a perfect, perfect hole. Okay, and of course, the last thing to do is to check the fit. Good. And you can't really tell. It's a little whiter just because it's newer. But uh, I really don't think that anybody's gonna notice that. Maybe if you clean the old ones a little better, it'll come up. All right, so I gotta do that about uh, 10 more times and then the blades. Right, so this is what's next. It's going to be the screen. Now it has just a typical plastic 90 degree corners. They broke it right in the middle, which means I need to replace the entire stretch on both sides. Now, I actually brought stuff to do that with, but uh, I didn't bring the saw to cut. So I gotta see what I, I can do for that. So you remember me saying, just when you think that it was going to be an easy job, and then you get there and realize that it just isn't. So let me tell you a couple of things that I run into. So. As usual, I, I hold on to all my stuff that is left over. It's sort of like a Jamie Heineman kind of OCD thing. And uh, so I had some screen. And my screen was about two inches too short to do one of the windows. Now, Anita actually left some screen here as well. And Hers is about the same, about two inches too short. We do not, cannot use any of the leftovers, which means I'm gonna to have to purchase some more. And uh, right now I'm gonna see if I can put the old screen back into one of them, because it's not torn, it's not too old, it's just been pulled out. So give that a try, if that doesn't work, uh, I'm gonna be replacing both of the screens. So, uh, working this out before I go to the store so I know exactly what I need to get.
Okay, one screen done. Movie man. So I'm back from Home Depot and lunch, and I got everything I need to build a new screen. Unfortunately, they did not have anything white. Uh, not in the size that I needed in. So this is stuff that I already have. So this is what I'm going to be using. It's a bronze. I don't think that it would be noticeable if you'd be behind the windows. So I got screen and I got some corners. Now what's great about the corners is you don't have to worry about doing a, a 45 degree cut. I'm going to only have to do a 90 degree cut. I got a little four dollar hacksaw to do the cuts and um, the corner has a three quarter of an inch profile so the measurement of the window then you have to subtract an inch and a half that's for three quarters of an inch here and three quarters of an inch on the other end and that will be the length that you cut all right so there's my frame and it's the same size as the white one, just not the same color. And the next fun step is putting a screen in. All right, so I've done these enough times that uh, it happened pretty quickly. So there's the two screens. Yeah, it's kind of a Frankenstein. Uh. It's not about you. No, it's not about you right now. You're not in trouble. <laughs> this one, however, is in trouble. My mom even called today to check on her and I told my mother what she did. You know you're in trouble, don't you? Even though that cute little face, you still got in trouble. She climbed up on the chair. I was in my bedroom. And I come out. And she's on the dining room table eating cat food. Mm-hmm. Not once, but twice. She got in trouble both times. Obviously, I'm not yelling at her enough or spanking her or doing something wrong. Spank? You don't spank a dog. I didn't spank her. I yelled at her. Okay. What do you do? How do you get her to stop doing that? I don't know. To me, I would just make it so we couldn't get up on the table. No, you don't the, go up on the table. Freckles would eat it all, too, if, if he could get up on the table. You don't go up on the table. Yep. You're just looking for chicken that I might have spilled in my lap. Well, you know what? I didn't spill any! Boomer, Freckles is at the back door demanding entry. Yes. I got Mojo here demanding attention. My Mojo! My Mojo! <laughs> Not if you have that fur ball, right? What are you doing? I didn't spill anything on myself. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, I guess I should bet. Let his nails. Yes, can you in. please go let Freckles in <laughs> before he scratches his nails off at the door? Oh, Joe. Oh, Joe. Why are you so whiny, cat? Because huh? mommy's got a furry dog in her lap. I know. Hey guys, guess what time it is? You got comb in your beard. It, it's my utility beard. Mojo so I, doesn't I keep, like the comb. I keep all my tools in my utility. That's beard. what Mojo's screaming at. So let me let me go get my uh, a fancy uh, meeting beard. I'll be right back. Okay. There you go. Got the right beard on now? I got the right beard on now. Okay. Cool beans. Anyway, I wasn't in today's video very much, if at all. Was I in there? Yeah, yep. You um, scolded the dog. That's right. I, shh, don't tell my mom. But the dog was on the dining room table. Okay? That's unacceptable. This is the first dog that we've ever had that can get on the dining room table. It was kind of a surprise. This is where we keep all the cat food. Yeah. So that Fatso here Mama Kitty's up there eat eating right now. Yeah. Mama Kitty's up there. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw on the video today. If you did, please give us a great big thumbs up. 
a like, a comment, a share, all that happy, crappy stuff. And we will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to go by and check out the TV movie trivia tonight, guys. Yep, it's up and it's got the hidden answers. <laughs> yeah, we did it right this time. Anyway, see you all tomorrow. Bye. Say goodbye, Mojo. Say goodbye, Mojo. <laughs> there you go.